Hello, Jensi Stinley, Queen Skelly here, and yeah, I got a new tattoo. It's uh, <laughs> it's my fifth one. It's a Fall Out Boy tattoo. Um, I'll actually be posting all five of my tattoos at the end of this video, so that way you guys can see all of them. But you guys usually see at least two of them, even though one of them needs to be touched up and is so faded. Uh, but I'm too broke to get it touched up, and TBH, I'm too much of a chicken. <laughs> like, I don't want to be taking care of two tattoos at once, like, in all honesty. <laughs> But anyway, so I want to tell you guys a story of how this one came to be. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this band, this is actually the symbol for Fall Out Boy. This is the one that they are mostly known for. Now, I started listening to Fall Out Boy when I was 15 years old. It, they got introduced to me uh, by my ex-boyfriend, and um, it was actually one of the things he was really good for. But yeah, I've loved the band ever since. I've been exploring more of their music um, as I got older and I got more into um, how their music is. And I only really listened to a select few songs over the years until um, just recently when Hubby purchased tickets for the um, Hell Omega Tour, which was supposed to be Fall Out Boy, Weezer, Green Day. <laughs> Since all three of them, I know who all three bands are, just unfortunately, I know Fall Out Boy, and then I know Green Day, and then I know Weezer. <laughs> I need to learn more of their music. But in order to learn more of Fall Out Boy's music, because when I went to my very first concert, which was a Fall Out Boy concert, when I went to my first concert, it was a Fall Out Boy concert, and I did not know some of the music they were playing, and I was like, fuck, okay, I need to learn more of their music, because if I'm going to go to more of their concerts, I need to learn more of their music. So I downloaded every single album that they had out there. Um, I'm currently waiting for the new one, which they uh, released a song called Dear Future Self, which I'm really hoping is an entire album. <laughs> so can't wait for that to drop. So I've always wanted to get this tattoo because Hubby and I were supposed to get our band tattoos together because he is a huge Metallica fan. So he got a Metallica tattoo on his shoulder up here. And I was going to get my Fall Out Boy one right below my <laughs> grandfather's tattoo. <laughs> such an appropriate place to put it but anyway so I dropped um but because of the whole pandemic my tattoo artist just opened up recently and I texted her now and I asked her how she was doing and she said she's doing okay and so I asked her like hey is there any way I can come down and get a tattoo and she goes yeah of course so I sent her what I wanted and she and I asked her how much is it gonna be what are what do you need me to do and she said, well, you are required to wear a mask. It can only be you and me. And tattoo is going to be roughly $200. And it's a pretty decently sized tattoo. I mean, my, my girl doesn't charge really much less than 100 which is fine. She's been doing it for like three decades now. So I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if that she charges that much because she, she has a lot of experience. I ate, I always eat before getting a new tattoo. Um, traditionally, I would eat at Spaghetti Factory because it's carbs. And then there's sugar with the soda and then with the... You get some salad in there, and then you've got the ice cream afterwards. So you're packing in a lot, and then you get the tattoo, and you hopefully don't pass out while you're getting it. So this time around, though, unfortunately, I couldn't go to Spaghetti Factory because they're not open. Ah, <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> so I got McDonald's. I got a soda, and I figured chug the soda, eat the food, got something in my stomach, got some sugar going. I'll be good to go. And usually my tattoos, even the big one on my thigh, hasn't taken any more than an hour. I think the most that, I, that I've ever been spent on a tattoo was an hour and a half, and it was this guy right here. But that was because it was in such a sensitive area, and not to mention that there's a lot of like tiny details in there, so I, I can understand why it took as long as it did. So I got there, and the front door is locked. And I'm like, I call her, I'm like, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> she goes, go in the back. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I went through the back. And um, I saw her, and she's like, I'm running behind, sweetie. I'm so sorry. I'm like, don't even worry about it. I'll just wait here. I got my mask on. I got my phone on. I'm like, tick, tick. You know, whatever. And finally, she's like, okay, I'm ready for you. I'm like, okay, sounds great. Poor thing was running around like a chicken with her head cut off. And I was like, oh, my God. I just want to give her a hug and tell her everything is going to be okay. So I sit down in the chair. And I always get anxiety before getting a tattoo. But when it comes to me, the second the needle hits my skin, I'm fine. I, I am totally okay. Yeah, there's a couple times where it, it smarts and it stings a little, but that's with any tattoo, really. So I'm getting inked, and she finishes the trapezoid part, right? Then she gets up to the crown. Now, if you notice, the crown has three little dots. 
But the thing with this tattoo, if you can see, it almost looks like someone took brush strokes to it. So it looks like someone went like this. So instead of shading with two needles, there's occasions that she shaded with one. So she's getting to the crown bit, and on this side over here, there's maybe that last little point left, and I start getting nauseous, extremely nauseous. So I told her, like, you gotta stop. I gotta go to the restroom. She goes, are you okay? I'm like, I'm just feeling a little nauseous. And this is the first time that's happened. And she's done now five of my tattoos. This is the first time that this has happened. So we went, as I went to the bathroom, literally emptied everything out, came back and she goes, do you want a lollipop, sweetie? Get your blood sugar up. I'm like, yeah, I'm also chewing some gum. She goes, good, chew some gum. That'll help too. So I finally got through the rest of this and it took less than like five minutes for her to finish it. And I think she was trying to get through it as quickly and, efficient, and efficiently as possible without fucking up the tattoo and without me feeling fucked up. <laughs> so when it was finally done, you know, she cleaned me, wrapped me up, and now I finally have my boys on my arm. I think one of these days I'll tell you guys um, the stories about uh, the rest of my tattoos, but um, I don't think there's really much to tell. I don't quite remember what happened for most of them. For three of them, I was 19 when I got them. And for this one, I was 21 when I got it. And then this one, I was 22 when I got this one. So um, I'll, I'll maybe find a day to tell you guys the rest of the stories about my tattoos. And maybe I can, you know, I plan on getting a lot more tattoos. So I know I'll definitely have a lot more stories for you guys. And eventually, my whole body's going to be inked. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.